Hey, you know what it is. We're back with another video, but today we're gonna be doing banned commercials. Like we got commercials that got banned on TV, like real talk. But before this week, you guys like and subscribe because we got another reaction. Like, come on, but let's get straight into this. Oh, the commercials. All right. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top twenty funniest banned commercials. The fuck is this? But I run in from the left, and he gives him a good old slapping. Oh. We've got chemistry here. You feel it? I felt it. All right, Janice. For this list, we're looking at hilarious ads that were pulled from screens. Some of these commercials may have kept running in certain areas. However, if the ad was Ooh, banned that, that, or pulled oh. at any point in any place in the world, oh, these these niggas are chatting. Most people in a are in the back. All right, first one. Number nineteen: A flatulent first date. Smart beep. Most people would probably find this ad relatively inoffensive. A woman who thinks she's alone in a car lets one rip while her date is outside the vehicle. However, his friends are in the back. Oh, pre R word, pre R word, pre R. -word. <laughs> we got think. We got think. Greg, Janice. We sure did. The commercial says the Bachelorette's behavior was dumb before highlighting its smart beeper. While a funny fart joke might not be the best way to sell a product, surely people can't get that upset about a normal bodily function. Well, the sensors at Fox apparently did. Call 1 800 Beep 199 for other smart stuff. They took issue with this flatulent smart beep commercial and had it pulled. Outside oh, of Fox, nah. the commercial star Claire Solstrom appeared on the Late Late Show to talk about how fun the fart was to shoot. Well, the audition. Niggas shooting ass in front of niggas' face, like. <laughs> I didn't know it was for a fart. No, that shit um, stink. That my agent didn't tell <laughs> me. I guess they told well, they, a lot they, of people. They, they always leave that part out. Yeah, you know, they yeah. know I'd do it. You know, they knew I'd go in. <laughs> Number 18, Kim Cattrall's car commercial, Nissan Tita. Though Sex in the City had been off the air for around two years when this ad aired, Kim Cattrall was brought in to reprise her role as Samantha for this Nissan commercial. It's made in the same style as The Sultry Show, with Cattrall dishing about the ride of her life over the phone. Really smooth, great looking. Amazing body. She's hilariously talking about the Nissan T. Amazing body. Oh. It was so much bigger than I expected. But that wasn't enough for New Zealand's regulators. While the innuendos in her dialogue were the only yeah, provocative part of the ad, oh. it received complaints. Nissan eventually decided to get ahead of the scandal and pull the ad themselves. The old new Nissan Tita makes you feel really, really, <laughs> oh yeah, really good inside. Number 17, a bad place to read. Audible. You wouldn't think an ad for Audible would have anything offensive like, in it, this let alone bad? dangerous, but the Australians didn't agree. Can't think of a better time for a book. The Chamber of Secrets has oh. been opened. Popular Aussie comedian Celeste Barber starred in this spot about finding opportunities to listen to an audiobook during your daily routine. She's joined by Po Ling Yao of MasterChef fame. Audible is amazing when you're cooking up a storm. Oh. What huh? cooking part? A scene where Barber is jokingly found sitting inside Poe's refrigerator earned the ire of regulators. There were claims that the commercial was dangerous because impressionable viewers might copy the chilling act. Hey, hey, hey! Outside ah, of the controversial like, scene, like if like my nigga, like if you go in a fridge, you are you are a dumb nigga. Like, like, I'm sorry, like like it's an ad, it's like ooh, like a fridge, my nigga, like that's crazy. An audible <laughs> nah. lad. Number 16, a time of the month. Like, I don't know what it took, like, Joe, you are just Tampax. mentally. The funniest thing about this <laughs> ad is the idea that Tampax would ever have its own talk show just to advertise menstrual products. How many of you ever feel your tampon? But the whole point of talking about that time of the month went over a lot of people's heads. Unfortunately, the ad was widely complained about and ultimately banned bad, in though. Ireland for being offensive. It might mean your tampon isn't in far enough. You gotta get him up there, girls! In an ironic twist, the ban might have been more slammed than the ad. People rightfully pointed out that there's nothing vulgar about talking about an incredibly common item half the population uses. And the commercial's humor was a great way to get an important message across. Oh, anything Just about tampons, to but the yeah, I'm a nigga, so yeah. <laughs> So get well, how can this be bad? With tampons. Number 15, inappropriate what? shaking. For goodness shakes. Moving from one part of the human body to another, this protein shake commercial implies- Hey, yo, like, niggas going ham, like, like, <laughs> niggas going, niggas, Moving. hey, yo, niggas going, going in, <laughs> nah. From one part of the human body to another, 
this protein shake commercial implies that the men at Stars are doing nah, something incredibly not... inappropriate in public places. The men are actually trying to get their protein shakes just right. Yeah, totally. That is protein shakes. Niggas not Luckily, stroking. <laughs> for goodness shakes is here to provide protein shakes that are ready to drink right away. So, unlike the men in this ad, you will avoid any hilarious mix-ups in public while trying to mix your protein. Oh, that's, se that's sexual harassment right there. That is... That <laughs> wait. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, wait. Oh. He got it. Go. Bean drink. The commercial's logical explanation didn't prevent it from being seen as too edgy for TV. It is not surprising to hear it was banned by the UK's advertising authority. Now, this is... <laughs> Thank God that shit is not on TV anymore. No, that's Number scary. Number 14, cheated out of chicken. Burger King. Oh, Above no. being racy Burger or Burger King, when it's Burger King, like, we already know what happened with that foot lettuce. Like, oh, we, we do not want to know. Appropriate. There's what another Burger big King issue lots of advertisers time. face when making their commercials. They're not supposed to lie or mislead the audience. That is exactly why a humorous Burger King ad from 2010 was banned in the like, <laughs> Snuck out to a motel room to enjoy the new tender crisp chicken, but he's caught in the act by a jealous cow that wants him to eat beef instead. Sweetie. <laughs> it wasn't banned because of the implication that this man has a weird connection with a jealous cow. Nope. It was pulled because the real tender crisp chicken sandwich is a lot smaller than the one shown. So good, you'll cheat on beef. Number 13. That, that, that clickbait is crazy. Like, ooh, like, you know these niggas, like, doing all that fake shit in real life. That's crazy. Taking care of chores. Woodka vodka. This ad from 2011 was allegedly banned. Damn! 2011? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's gender stereotypes. It was part of a long-running campaign by Wódka Vodka, a Polish liquor company. In this commercial, a woman says she'll get the house clean and cook a nice dinner for her partner while he's at work. I'll have this all cleaned up. I'll make you a nice dinner. Love you. Bye. Bye, baby. But it's revealed that her private profession involves her forcing male clients to do household chores. Either the racy content or depiction of a Fuck woman being this? placed in a... Like <laughs> Traditional like, this is the wrong site for this. Like, ban. like as time. offensive as some may have found it, the commercial features funny and creative problem solving. Though, admittedly, it's not entirely clear what any of this has to do with vodka. You like? I slaved all day. <laughs> Number 12, an orange man tango got no ass, too though. hard. Tango. This tango ad features a man painted orange going up and slapping another man who's just opened a can of tango. An nah, orange. This can't be real. Like, oh, this, oh, this can't be real. Like, nigga, like, flavored. Like, if I see this in real life, like, I'm smoking that nigga. Like, 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 what are you guys doing? Like, if you see this orange, big ass nigga, like, what are you guys doing? Soda sold in the UK. Like, I'm just to that nigga's head. Like, why? Yes, Tony. <laughs> That shit is. This hit apparently represents the overwhelming tang you taste when you take your first sip. This silly commercial was banned in the UK after it allegedly caused an epidemic of impressional viewers slapping each other. Oh, a real uh, stop the violence, like, stop the violence, like, you're a young boy, stop the violence. <laughs> yes, we have super taste sensation, smashing drink, lovely. After news of these supposed incidents broke, the ad was pulled from the air and replaced with a less violent orange man. Despite the controversy, the You Know When You've Been Tangoed campaign continued to bring wild success to the company. Whoa! He's enveloped by the big Nah, this is too weird, man. Number like, 11. what is this? Everybody's doing it. P.S. Vita. This is another ad that initially seems like it was only banned for being far too suggestive. In the commercial, a doctor claims viewers are doing it far more often than is healthy. How many times did you do it yesterday? Are you afraid you're doing it too often? God, it's the wrong site for this, doing though. Doing it, like, she is playing on Sony's handheld PlayStation Vita with the new remote play feature. You no longer have to feel ashamed. Everybody's doing it because it's fantastic. This funny remote play commercial turned out to be no laughing matter for Sony. 
The ad was lambasted for being misleading about Vita function, as well as its inappropriate phrasing. Sony claimed it was cross-platform gaming. When yeah, this is cross-platform gaming. Like, like this is the fuck is this? Like, really? You're just streaming your console to a handheld. Ooh. And if you want to, you could even join me. Ultimately, this doctored ad and more like it caused the company to lose uh, this is money literally over false the, false the word. Like you all know, like YouTube is not gonna like that. Like. Ooh, Number 10, like that's, rooting against England, that's the other side. Six Nations Rugby <laughs> Championship. England! When you initially watch this commercial, it seems like everybody is supporting the English rugby team in the lead-up to 2012's Six Nations Rugby Championship. England. No <laughs> doubt. But you'll see a hilariously unexpected truth when you look closer. England. 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 The people voicing... Fuck is this, like, I'll do a part two, but W video, real talk, like... Real talk, but my shit, TikTok, my story, my son, Instagram, my shit, YouTube, my shit, cake, like, another video, like, come on, like, gang, but real talk, part two coming out soon, but, yeah.